I want to welcome you once again to District Devotionals. You know, in the times that we're living in right now, we have so many people running around with so much anxiety, with so much fear, and so much trepidation, with not knowing what's really going on for the future. And with a lot of this, putting so much focus on themselves. You know, it's interesting where with everything going on, it seems that we've forgotten what the, the Bible says itself with how to deal with these types of problems. You know, this, this week as I was doing some studying, I ran across this one verse. It's very interesting. It's in Psalms chapter 62 and verse 2. And it says this. It says, Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. You know, that's, that's an amazing promise right there. Just for one, looking at the fact that as David is coming out and he's saying this, he's encouraging not only himself, but those around him to remember that even though what they're going through seems incredibly tough, God is still there. He is their stronghold. He is their rock. Their place to hide behind, to hide in, literally, from everything that's going on. But even more, as David is writing this, he's not just thinking about what's going on for him and the people that are with him at that time. He's looking down through the ages, thinking about us right now. And trying to get us to realize that, hey guys, God is with you. Everything is going to be okay. Even when it seems that this earth is at its darkest, that's when God's light continues to shine forth. But even more than just that, we need to remember this. That at the moment that we think everything is at its ends, that's when God's salvation has already been working and then some. But even with saying that, we forget that God's salvation has no beginning and it has no end because his salvation is everlasting. It's our choice whether we're going to accept that or not. But as we continue with building, and David builds on this verse from the rock to the salvation, to the very fact that he is our fortress. He is a place that when the battle seems the toughest, that we can run and we can, we can stay. But even more than just that, during the times that David was living in, the whole concept of a fortress was not just a place of protection. It was a place of belonging, of safety, of where you could live without any problems going on. But even more than just that, it was a place that when you needed a place, it was there. That's what God is for us. He promises us, even before anything ever was, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Now, right there, that's an amazing promise within itself because within the very language, he says this. He says, hey, it may seem that all is at a loss and all is at an end, but stop the negativity, stop the anxiety, because guess what? I got it. I'm with you. But we forget that. We'd rather focus on the here and now than remembering that God is eternal and his promises never shake. They're always consistent. And even more, and I love this fact, God's promises and God himself is always on time. But not just that. I love how this verse ends. It says this, David's still speaking, I will never be shaken. Now, how often is it that we remind ourselves that because of what God has done for us, we have nothing to fear. And because we're planted inside the rock that is Christ Jesus, that nothing can shake us. Yet again, once again, our verse for today was Psalms 62, verse 2, and it says, Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. 
I will never be shaken. May we continue to remind ourselves about that and be strong in the faith that is in God and know that because we're in him, we will never be shaken. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.